My name is Timber Morgan and I am with Wags and Whiskers. Um, Wags and Whiskers is a local nonprofit animal rescue here in Minnesota. We also pull from high kill shelters in the south, Indiana, Missouri, Arkansas, those seem to be uh, the ones in the south that need the help the most. Celia came from Indiana. She was a stray at a shelter that we work with out there. Um, she had no fur on her. They determined that it was allergies uh, that had just been neglected. Celia was hairless. She was on a medicated shampoo for her skin. She had some open sores around from itching. She was on uh, prednisone, it's a steroid that they will take for itching. She was really itchy, slightly overweight, um, with no fur. I got the food and started to slowly transition her over a couple days. Um, and she loved it. She ate around her hard kibble and just would eat the Sojo's food. Within weeks of starting the food, I noticed her hair had been growing back like crazy. She was softer. She stopped itching obsessively. Like The fur was growing back. It was soft and thick and shiny. Like I couldn't believe the transition in such a short period of time just on the food because she wasn't on any other medications. I had stopped the bath, the shampoo. It was crazy. She was probably about 20 pounds when I got her and now she's at like a healthy 15, 16 pounds. She's spunky. She loves running and playing. Um, I work at a dog boarding facility at night part-time and I bring her with and now she runs around in group and she's just happy. She's definitely come out of her shell and, and is just a happier happier girls. Yeah, it was definitely a, an amazing transition. I walked in and the vet tech that had originally helped us came walking by and I'm there often enough that she knows me. So she was like, oh, is this your new foster? And I said, nope, this is Celia. She stopped in her tracks and was like, that's not the same dog. And I said, yes, it's the same dog. The thing I will miss most about Celia when she finds her perfect forever home is her smile. I'm hoping she'll go to a family that loves and adores her underbite and thinks she's the prettiest, sweetest little girl ever.